What's going on you short-tailed Mexican lemurs? Here we go, man. Today, Ask Krim episode 3. This is my... I can't do 3. Like, I always struggle. I don't know what's wrong with this finger, but like the gap here... So big for some reason. Anyways, episode 3. I got a lot of questions this time. We're gonna do like a fucking speed round in here. First question. From Take 2 Crew. Take 2 Crew. Said, would you rather... Have a vagina on your forehead or a roll of penises down your back like a stegosaurus. I don't even know, man. That would fucking suck to have that. But I'd probably be a stegosaurus because stegosauruses are fucking dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are awesome. Okay, next question. Aches or nade shot? Hear me out. Both. So my whole relationship with aches right now is kind of like... If you guys have seen the movie Rush, it's an amazing movie. Probably one of my favorite movies. Uh, at the end of the movie, Nicky Lauda's talking about... It, it's not actually him, obviously, but he's talking about James Hunt. And even though James Hunt was kind of like a an asshole, as he always calls him in the movie, it's he respected the shit out of him. And honestly, I respect the shit out of Aches. He probably maybe does... You know, we both uh, benefited off of each other. You know, we both kind of wouldn't be where we are without each other so you know people think i hate aches or something for some reason i don't know what the fuck the deal with that is but it's kind of one of those things where it's like i've teamed with them so long and you know we've had so much success that for me to hate them would just be it's it's not realistic at all um but yeah that wasn't really part of the question but i want to clear that up uh, next question when you had your first event win big event win what was the first expensive gift you bought yourself? I actually uh, didn't buy anything. The 25000 that we won from COD Champs, the Black Ops 2 one when we got fourth, most of it was spent towards the semester that I actually dropped out of college for. I used to go to the University of Washington, and uh, I, I'm not sure how much. It was, it was like $8,000 or something like that. But my parents like like, okay, if you want to drop out to practice, which is what I did, uh, you got to pay for that. So, you know, I, I took a huge risk, dropped out of college. I had to pay rent, obviously. So I had jobs at the time and, uh, you know, doing juggling three, juggling a job, school and uh, professional call of duty is extremely hard. I think I only got like six hours of sleep uh, during those days. But most of my money was actually spent, uh, you know, paying for my own rent in my own house because my parents and charging me rent since I was 18 so not much it's like 500 a month uh, next question how are you so damn good at CS I actually started playing CS when I was nine years old it was the first shooter multiplayer game I ever played I uh, didn't play against people that much because I didn't really know how to update the just played against bots all day on maps like fucking Aztec and dust one uh, next question what inspired you to start playing Call of Duty when the Xbox 360 first came out there's COD 2 at like every single GameStop. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys definitely played that. Uh, they had like, that was right when like HD TVs came out, right? And I remember playing it. I was just blown away by the graphics, everything about it. It was the COD 2 campaign mission in like Africa or some shit. And honestly, I thought it was amazing. I, I went to like, I think there's like a Panda Express right next to it. But every time I went to Panda, I actually went in the GameStop 2 and, and would play COD 2. Because I didn't have a 360 at the time. What do you see yourself doing in 10 years time? Honestly, I will probably be completely out of the gaming scene or completely in the gaming scene. Oh, this fucking asshole. When Ams beat you, how do you determine which one to blame for hacking? First of all, jackass, that was in the morning, okay? Usually we don't play people with fucking FBI net, aka Godder net, aka you're playing in the fifth fucking dimension. But yeah, scruffer. You know what? You just look at their fucking gear, and that's how you see who's hacking. Next question. Would you rather keep your triple win you have or give it all or give it away to be COD World Champions? Um, I'm assuming you're talking about AW, and yes, I would probably do that. Winning COD Champs is huge, but at the same time, it's like, if we won COD Champs, then... Demon's, Demon's raging. Demon's raging. He got knocked off his horse in The Witcher. Um, yeah, winning COD Champs, it kind of, it sort of ruins teams in a way um definitely ruined our team last year eg definitely ruined for i wouldn't say it's ruined denial but i don't know it's hard to say honestly i think if we won cod champs then 
you guys wouldn't be seeing a lot of content from me. You guys probably wouldn't be seeing me stream as much just because of, uh, like, the laziness factor. Like, now there's, there's a fucking, like, a real drive for me to do YouTube and stuff like that. And you know what? If I end up, if I end up blowing up this year or something like that because of this drive that I have, because we got shit on at COD Champs, then then in the end it was all worth it. So you basically can't look at the past like that. You got to just move forward. Really hate my Jetta. I just fucking despise it. It's really embarrassing to just drive it around and shit like that. So um, no, but honestly, it's not that bad. I like I like driving manual. I like driving the Jetta also because it's so slow that when you do drive it like fast, you're like pushing the car to the limits, and I can like you can like feel that when you drive it. So. Uh, I don't know. I really like that feeling. Next question, kind of related. Do you plan on replacing the whip, the Jetta, the newer version of the Jetta or a BMW? Uh, I'm getting a BMW uh, or, well, actually, I got a lot of options. So, but yeah, I went to go test drive the M4 today. Didn't end up test driving it. I, t I should have told them on the spot. I'm like, I do not plan on buying this today. So don't fucking lecture me or do all that car salesman shit so so yeah that was the first time I ever went to a car dealership i've never bought a car my mom ended up just buying a new car so she gave me her old car which is was the jetta and then for some reason i get a fucking jetta right and then my brother my brother gets four thousand bucks and gets like a fucking sick ass gti what up what is this shit man come on. my car is not worth four thousand not at all all right next question Next question here, ladies and gentlemen. Would you rather go into the future or go into the past? Definitely would go into the future depending on how shitty it is. Like, if we're talking Mad Max future, then fuck no, okay? That movie was amazing, by the way. Yeah, no, if the future is, like, all futuristic and, like, cool and, like, friendly, like, people aren't trying to kill each other then because there's overpopulation issues, lack of water lack of living space aka resulting in lots of wars then uh yeah future 100 percent what was the hardest thing you had to do to overcome uh to become a call of duty pro you know i was pro since 2007 i kind of played when it started so there wasn't really anything to overcome honestly i think the hardest thing to overcome is something that hasn't happened yet Unless, unless I, you consider the fact that I got completely shit on in Halo and I almost had to completely disregard any of that and still have confidence in myself. That was probably one of the hardest things I've had to overcome. But other than that, I don't think I've overcome the hardest thing in my career yet. What is it like being a pro gamer, getting to wake up and play COD? Also, what is your favorite gun in COD history? Being a pro gamer, knowing my situation, uh, it's honestly surreal. You know, it's... To me, the fact that a gaming team a gaming team can own a, a house, like a pretty good house, just blows my mind. After working at Sports Authority and UPS and, you know, I, I, I did a little bit of Microsoft stuff uh, for three summers. This is so, it's almost so easy. It's not easy, but it's like. I've worked so hard and now now it just seems easy. It just seems like all the effort that I've put towards this career and this profession is like finally starting to pay off. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it's almost too much fun at times because you know, like what's I don't know what the quote is, but it's like when you have so much when there's so much good, you can't like you can't tell what's good. So that's like say like thirty days a month and twenty nine of those days are amazing and one day is bad, like those days aren't going to seem as good as they as they really are. So, I don't know. I just I I'm on the fence on this question. Actually, uh, favorite gun by the way is like M8 MSMC. All right, speed round, boys. End of the video. Time for a speed round. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. What is your favorite peanut butter brand? I actually hate peanut butter. Fuck peanut butter. Who is your favorite? Uh, YouTubers, Team Four Stars videos, the the Dragon Ball Z voiceover redos, and uh, just recently started watching. I think his name's Joe Weller. Uh, next question: Nip or Fnatic? Fnatic for their players. Nip for the name, the brand, the org, the color, but Fnatic for the players. Uh, chicken or steak? Steak, 100%. Always have liked steak more than chicken. Uh, are you going to win X Games? Yes, with a motherfucking fiery passion. Okay, no more bronze medals this time. They look cooler than golds, 
but I'm going for a fucking gold. Last question. Who do you think is the most underrated player? Uh, slasher. 100% slasher. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That was Ask Crim Episode 3. I'm going to be actually doing these more often. Probably once every two weeks. Maybe once every week and a half. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Like. Do some other bullshit. Tell your fucking buddies at school at that lunch table you sit at and compare Call of Duty statistics. I'm out.